Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, I think I've somehow gone into the bar next door, um, <laughs> bought the beer and then gone into their garden next door, so well, there's, there's people watching me thinking what the hell is he doing. Anyway, um, I've got another Lefe beer. This is another beer that i done last time, but I was on the way big time. Um, it's a Lefe... <sighs> How do you pronounce this? Vilira Curve? I don't know. It's that one anyway. Very familiar. Um, I've, I've had it once before, and that was here, or next door. So, nice Lefe glass. This beer, or Lefe, is by um, InBev, AB InBev. I know there's a lot of controversy with Lefe beers, are they craft beer, are they not? I really don't give a shit, I'm sorry and all that, but I just, I, I very rarely swear, but it doesn't matter, this beer. Lefe's a fair, most of them are fairly nice, one or two that are a bit iffy, but anyway, beer in a glass, nice ruby clear colour. Lefe! I'm at the hole in one, well I am next door, but it's getting aroma. So there's lots of dark fruits in that, big time. A bit of candied sugar. Very sweet malt. It's 8.2% ABV. Don't think I mentioned that. This come out of a 330ml bottle, so standard really. Four euros. I'm trying to get away from that music. It's, it's outrageously bad. Tourists, they. they for some reason, I don't get it. I mean, there's, there's hotels all around. I mean, I'm not staying in this area. I'm at the other end of the city, in Funchal, Madeira. I've come here and it's... They've got a one or two beers I want to try. That's the only reason I'm here. Once I've done with the beers here. Ta-da. Adios, as they say. So yeah, dark fruits, candied sugar. Sweet malt. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Very smooth mouthfeel. You pick up a little bit on the alcohol. Only a, only a touch. It's 8.2. You'd expect a little bit more. But it's very well hidden. Dark fruits, for sure. Maybe some figs or plums, dates, you know, that sort of thing, raisins. Um, it's a lovely beer, very smooth. Probably a medium sweetness, it's not overly sweet. Um, I know I had a beer the other day, it was off the off the chain sweetness um, but this beer it's got it's got quite a, a medium body it's, it's quite nice quite nice it's you know it's um, I'm trying to explain it it's got a lovely um, flavour that sticks to the palate, like it's still there now, it really does stick to the palate. It's a nice beer, really nice beer, uh, excuse me, uh, scrounging for information, best before. 1st of January 2018, and not that that, you know, 
I'd imagine if you could, you could probably sell her this one. I don't think anything is going to fade particularly. The dark fruits are probably going to be there. It'll probably, um, it'll probably combine a little bit more. Say three to five years time, 2016, 18. So that's two years. I reckon you could probably, you could probably do another three years on top of that. So um, yeah, I reckon 20, 21, something like that. I reckon it would all come together. It would be as smooth as you like. 8.2, you'd probably get away with it. So yeah, that's Lefe. Eh? Um, let me try and pronounce this. Viel, Viala, Vieli, Cuvier. 8.2% ABV from Lefe eh? in Belgium. As for a rating then, yeah, I think it's very nice. One more taste and I'll give you that rating. Quite sweet, just just after that initial mouth um, full, and you swallow it. You've, you've got that little bit behind the tongue that's giving you them pepper of, of sugar. Um, yeah, I think that's really nice. I think it's an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten from me. Um, if you've had this beer before, let us know. Put it down below, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers for watching.